The horses think I'm coming over to move their fencing. But I'm heading to the plantation where Oak Tree Carl resides because I'm going to be planting loads. Those are all, well, there's other seeds in there. Vast majority of those are foxglove seeds. So I want to make a pollinator's paradise in here. Hence, I'm bringing oxide daisies, fever few, um, evening primrose, etc. So you all think I'm about to give you more grass, but not today. So in here, now I hope I don't tip this over. My little gate, there we go. Handy gate in. You can see the spindle is already got some of its beautiful color in here. Loads of spindle. You can see here are some of the oxide daisies that were planted. Oh, over here are some evening of primroses or little primulas. See, there's lots of them here. So they're in the shade of this bit of tree. And this is this huge horse chestnut that came down a few years ago. Here's an evening primrose. Look at that, beautiful yellow. This is, moths love evening primrose. Okay, so I'm going to spread the seeds about the place and increase the pollinators for future generations in this area. Oh, and here's Carl. There's Carl the oak. He will soon be shedding his leaves. He won't grow much the first year or two, but then hopefully he'll start growing. You can see I had to put bamboo stakes wherever I planted the uh, oxide daisies so I wouldn't step on them by mistake. And we've been digging out the thistles because I don't want it to be a monoculture of for pollinators. So look at that. Rowans are everywhere. So this, all I have to do with this stuff is grab a bit of it and just literally walk around because it is so fine and hope that some of it takes. There, all gone. So I'm going to do that now for the next few moments. You can see those black seeds, do you see that black seed? That's columbine. So there'll be columbine in here as well. Anyway, I'm going to now spread seeds. But isn't this just, they're divine, their color spindle. So I've spread all along this side of the tree as well. This is the east facing tree. Look, there's some dog violets. Those I didn't plant. They were under this tree already. So here's some of the Gilda Rose. Look at the color. This one's turning, beautiful colors. So there's three Gilda Rose there. And then uh, some more Oxide Daisies. This is Hope. This is the oak tree I planted New Year's Day. So hopefully Hope will continue growing beautifully. She has actually, Hope has actually grown a lot since I planted her. I'd say maybe nearly a foot and a half. She was already tall, but, and what else did I plant in here? We planted, ah, this is Budlia. We planted some Budlia cuttings I took. No, it's not a native, but like I said, we're making a pollinator, pollinator's paradise. So as much biodiversity of pollinating plants in the area. This is, this is a crab apple. More Gilda Rose. Look at the stem. The color of the stem is spectacular. Here is a dog rose I dug out of the garden and planted here and it's filled out beautifully. Look at the size of that. And I'm hoping it's gonna go up and over this log given time. So that's, um, I am hoping it'll come towards me less and go that way more. That way is south. The sun rises over there. 
that's the east and the sun sets over there so hopefully the rows will go that way more oxide daisies that I planted earlier so yeah another gilded rose these are gonna all look fantastic they're gonna bush out here's another crab apple this is grown in leaps and bounds this is a horse chestnut that I sowed from seed so a lot of these are cuttings and seeds and gifts etc another this crab apple I'm so excited to see how these crab apples go we need more and more crab apples. So this is this plantation, or maybe we'll call it Carl's Plantation. Anyway, it's going and growing. I only had to water it once this year. Otherwise the mulch really took care of it. Hopefully the foxglove seeds that I planted will take, and hopefully these seeds We'll sow. You see, there's these are the evening primrose seeds. Look at that. An oxide daisy still blooming, and it's October. So the years are all collecting under the lime tree. It's the best shelter when it rains. There's a slight mizzle, but it's not raining yet, but it's due to, which is why I sowed the foxglove seeds just now. Because then the rain will rain them in all collected, nice and cozy. The lambs are all collecting under this beech tree with the coming rain. I actually have a buyer coming later this morning that is going to look at some of my yo lambs to buy. Whether they go or not, we don't know. We'll see. So somebody's coming to have a look, see, see if they want to buy any for breeding. Anyway, We'll see soon enough. Java's making them a little nervous, creeping in under, making them all stand up, shake their tails. And stretch. The rain is beginning to go from mizzle to actual rain but I wanted to show you the colors it is not a sunny day but look at these autumnal colors are fantastic but in particular this little crab apple its leaves at the top are beginning to turn look at that it's like a little firebrand at the top Oh, I can't wait to watch it turn. It's a beautiful little crab apple that I planted earlier this year. Look at the sumac, fantastic. So this crab apple, these, these are actually terribly tiny. This is too small. It's just been a dry year, weird year. But this is the crab apple. Let's see, it's called Bower's Beauty. So I planted it this year. Anyway, I'm going to be looking forward to seeing how it, uh, I'm going to do this, you get something in the background to see it, how it flames. Just like how it's a different kind of red tipped compared to this guy, the, the sumac or staghorn, whatever you want to call it. Look at the staghorn, it's fantastic all here. There's a maple tree. Let's see if you can see the maple tree is right there. That was planted this year as well. This red oak was planted this year. And then this crab apple, another crab apple was planted this year. So a good splash of autumn color in this corner. And as the years go by, it's gonna be more and more wonderfully impressive. Something to age with. <laughs> These guys. Closing gates. 
closed gate to bring in the ewes that are going to be sold, the ewe lambs, for the buyer that's coming this afternoon. They came this morning and selected the ones they wanted. So, 17. Hopefully there's 17 here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. They're all here. Okay. Come on. You guys want to come, huh? The rest of them have gone up. Sorry, ladies. Wait, wait, wait. Java, Inca, wait. Java! You're bold. That is not how you do it. Good boy. Okay. Everybody's in. So you can be lovely and dry and eat some hay while we wait for your new owners. Not all of these are going, only three. They can dry in here. They've got hay. They've got company of the two invalid yeos who are recovering beautifully. And uh, water over here. Missing some ram lambs. There we go. Join up with the other lads. The wind, they didn't hear me over the wind and the rain. They're only gonna get the scrappy bits, the leftovers. No, you're going in that way. Good girls. They always go together into the one stable. You'd think they'd have learned by now. Whoop, 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 whoop. 
There we go. She figured it out. It's okay, girls. Yeah. Your food is in the back. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. You've got food in your bucket at the back of the stable. Okay, so it's gonna be a wet night and day tomorrow. Oh, she's found her food. The excitement of it all, coming in for the night. <laughs>